word, but doesn't really deal with most damage. Even with an ion shell? Well, he's in range four. True. I guess. Kind of anti synergy. Like, don't go range one, bro. I'm gonna ion shell. <laughs> okay, I won't steal it, man. I guess at least the Scepter HP will be but nice. Now we definitely got to see a Phoenix. Surely. There's so much percentage value here. Bristleback, Dark Seer. You get a Vessel, you get a Sunray, you get a Stone Gaze, you get a Finger. Dude. Got a big. Doom. Wow. I think it's Infernal Blade. Mid Doom percentage. again. Yeah, but. Again? You like it? Yeah, it's good against DK. It's good against Bristle. Look. The uh, Agon Scepter, you have a 20 second break on the Bristleback, it's very good. I don't need to slouching anymore, there's <laughs> no cameras, cameras behind. Anymore. Yeah. Bad for your lower back, careful. Yeah. You have to keep Man, the posture. Do you, do you have the posture fan. command in your Twitch chat? No, yeah, but I have to stay hydrated. Guys? Be sure to stay hydrated at home. I have hydration, I have uh, uh, posture, all of those. Problem is, like, when you have to sit like... Why would you not be able to reach the floor? Put the chair too much up and you're not taller. But then put it, put it down. Or you just get tall, lol. Can you please pick Phoenix? Why are they not picking Phoenix? They're banning right now, that's why. Mirana banned out by uh, Fnatic. There's also a chance that they can go for a Phoenix. Yeah. Versus Medusa, you guys are talking about the split shot versus... Which is nice. My T1 has first pick now. Are you having fun? Oh, there's I'm not having a ball. <laughs> you're done with your exhibition? I don't want to uncalibrate all the AR that they've specifically meticulously tracked, so if I start fooling around, we may lose the tracking points. <laughs> is your beard actually AR? Is that what it is? That's true. It's been a hologram this entire time. <sighs> Guys should see without the beard. <laughs> it's been green screen it's technology. Actually, there is no chin. There he is. Just... <laughs> you know, you, you remember hearing about um, Henry Cavill was in the Justice League movie, and they had to like do some reshoots? But the problem is he was filming Mission Impossible and he had a mustache in Mission Impossible. Mm -hmm. and he was, So he had to keep it? Or he was contractually obligated to keep the mustache and so they had to CG out his mustache in Justice League. Yeah, that's why his mouth looks so funny. Yeah, it looks, you can definitely tell that really? something is I actually, weird. I, uh, wait, is that the newer movie or older? It was the original Justice League, oh, not, the, okay. not the Snyder Cut. So yeah. if you look up like Henry Cavill Justice League mustache, you can see that his upper lip like looks very awkward. <laughs> Oh, okay. Even when he talks, oh, oh, oh there they are snap. in a line. Yeah, Doom. even when he talks, yeah, exactly. He's so behind the centaur line. Doom. They're a pack. They like to stick together. This is something that you guys in pubs should not be doing. Please don't stack because it's easier to land all the stuns on you. Dude, but I want my team to go with me. I don't want people split pushing all the time. Okay, you, they can go together. Just don't be clumped Dude, up. Enchantress is huge. Here, what do you expect? I guess, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, Dragon Knight's a knight. His shield is like, he's, 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 he's hiding. No, he's just further away. He's very shy. Oh, perspective? Yeah, exactly. All right, fine. Are we gonna get a Phoenix now? Why'd they ban out Mirana and Grimstruck? And why didn't they ban out Phoenix? That's what I want to Why know. didn't he want pick Phoenix? They, they, they still got 20 have 20 seconds. seconds. Yeah. I don't actually understand. Like, it's just like such a good hero here. Four bans, all, all of them. Timber song. Go. I mean, we're not for a score. What is happening? So it's support line. centaur. Not centaur, yeah. They have done it before. They did. But I don't know. I just why do you have to go hard mode? Just go Phoenix Medusa. It's like the best combo in Dota. Or oh, one of the best. You have so much percentage damage. It's actually grief pick. Uh, Timber saw is a good hero. It's a good hero, but good versus also Dragonite, good versus Bristleback. You're answering a lot of things, man. Yeah, but you're also having a post for centaur. Which can work, Sometimes, I'm not saying it's terrible, yeah. but like Phoenix just... I'm with you, they overcomplicated things. Yeah. Like, there's a, a goalie, you know, is trying to take the ball from it. It's a one-way-one -one situation, you passed him, but you're trying to do some fancy moves, and then you miss the goal. And then you just trip and yeah. fall on your face. And then so the goalkeeper's like, ha, <laughs> <laughs> idiot. <laughs> you absolute buffoon. What now? Reminds me of the guy that was completely free in front of the goal line. He goes on all fours and just headbutts the ball in. The enemy team was so mad. It was so disrespectful. But did he uh, get the goal? Of course. Uh, oh, that's why the enemy team was so mad. Yeah, but that's the tilt. He disrespected them so hard. It's the tilt. The tilt factor. It's a warrior. Ursa. And so that's why they didn't yeah. pick the Phoenix. Because <laughs> then he would have had to have Ursa. <laughs> hmm. So now you get actually 
three of your heroes countered by that Ursa. Yes. That's the problem. And Ursa does seemingly very well against the Medusa, which is something that we've seen in the last uh, couple of series. Mm -hmm. When Ursa is picking Medusa, you go for this early game build, refusal. <laughs> They're puffing. I'm, I'm just thinking. I think uh, Dragonite. I've been theory crafting. Haven't tried it uh, yet. I do not want to get uh, reported, but I think uh, Dragonite position four has some uh, potential. Yeah. I think uh, someone sounds, uh, like sounds like a report, but I think someone in lower division Southeast Asia played it uh, with the fireball. Has some potential. Centaur position four. We've seen that once in the upper division. Not really convinced. Uh, looks like a good Ursa game. I still think I can go with E1. Yeah. What did you say? Yeah, yeah, that's so I'm gonna go with T1, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> where, where are you going? Uh, okay, fair enough, fair enough. I love this part. I could just lock in Caster's Curse. Especially because Black's got somewhere to be. So, you know, obviously if I go T1, there's a game three happening. And that's it, you know, T1, I'm going T1. Very much, yeah. I will enjoy this game. And he continues to tell me to enjoy it. I will continue. And once he tells me to be upset about it, I think I, you can't tell me how I should feel about it. No, no, no. no. I think if Tsunami tells me to be enjoy upset it, that I'm casting, uh, like be I'll upset fun. about this. Like, I know there, there are a couple of things that we could potentially be upset about the, in the previous game, a couple of performances. But let's see this Dragon Knight, Boots of Speed, Dragon Tail Stun, paired up with Dark Shear. I mean, there's potential. Iron two iron shell charges with the dragon tail stun, but DJ in a bit of a trouble. Gets the healing off. We'll go back to safety. I'm trying to wrap, trying to make something happen. Unfortunately, not finding any success in doing so. But they just go back and forth, and we'll see how many bounty runes are split between the two teams. As we do have 30 seconds till the horn. <laughs> I'm gonna see if they can maybe make something out of nothing. They have Raven ready to go, and Cuckoo might be in some trouble. Dragon Tail comes out, and well, they're all here. And Cuckoo looks pretty dead. Looks pretty dead. Oh, I was gonna say, almost a split second chance for him to survive, but DJ gets first blood. We've seen what the chances can do once they get that uh, first blood, get a fast medallion, and get that solar crest early on. So this time around, they were going to swap things around a bit. Uh, Timbersaw will be played on the mid lane against Moon Bristleback, starting with the magic stick, of course. Like Bristleback, I, I don't remember seeing this matchup, but... My Dota knowledge should say, you know, the Timbersaw has the upper hand in this one. Okay. I think it should be 2-0-2 two, two two build on Timbersaw. Potentially get the Timber Chain on level 5. Just to be able to close the gap. I like 2 four points in Burling Death in this matchup. More damage. You're playing at the Strength Hero. Are you worried at all about 23 come the mid part of this game? Because I assume Raven's going to be... Yeah, that's what he has queued up. This is something that the Chinese region uh, started to develop, kind of. Going uh, into a Morbid Mask or straight up the Fusal Blade. So it's going to be great against the Timber Saw. Uh, great against Medusa. We've seen in Chinese region Ursa winning two times against Medusa with this type of a build. Same day, too. Here in Southeast Asia, I 
believe Medusa's like six and one. Only has that one loss that we saw last week. See if the trend holds true and we see another Medusa loss as teams are starting to finally figure out the hero somewhat. They figured out that the hero is OP. Yeah, correct. But still beatable in some circumstances. Few, but some. Dragon Tail, two Ion Shells on a Zephyr. He's getting body blocked here. Throws if a they get a return edge. kill, it's, it's worth it. Medusa gets solo XP. Uh, she gets the gold. So, all good. It's yeah, just Zephyr a trade. Wisely playing it. Keep that solo experience and uh, that solo gold. Double edging. Uh, well, one thing that they changed is White Mon is playing position 5 from the off lane because they want to have a stun against Ursa. They do not want to have two melee heroes against him. Super saw dealing with Moon in the moment. Said 2 2 build probably what we're going to see here. But both these heroes actually sitting really well. Wonder what rotations could come out. Down, so Centaur, we'll see. There's a Skelly controlling the rune from the Enchantress. That's not a random skeleton in the river. Vacuum back, double edge, hits on a two. They're trying to output the damage on the Dark Seer. 23 gets the kill, and they'll take out Jax. Both heroes dying top after diving the tier one tower. That's again what we're seeing from Fnatic is just some of these misplays. Carl, well, he didn't have the opportunity they to too get much. water. They, they wanted too much out of this one. Uh, something that uh, I was uh, thinking about uh, when there's a Bristleback, when it's not a good lane for him, he can always create a lane for himself. Enter pulling him to where he is right now, uh, playing between the tier two and tier three tower, pulling him to the big camp on the left. Uh, so a lot of options. Trying to mess with this creep wave. Doing his thing. Soaring picked up for the timber. He's gotten that 202, like you said. Yeah, basically, I guess just a free lane right now for Carl because Bristle's off to the side. Carl also needs to do the same thing. He needs to pull the wave back to one side because Bristle is getting uh, more farm then. And we'll be. Picking up that water rune. DP's back to the mid lane. Cuckoo taking a bit of damage, but Raven, I think, off the mark with that earth shot. They're still going for Zephyr, and he'll pop us out, trying to survive, but the Iron Shell stops it, and with Iron Shells on both jabs, as well as Xion, they'll get the kill onto Zephyr easily. This time it doesn't go wrong. Because he's playing uh, position four from the safe lane, you need to bring salves. You need to bring healing salves for your safe laner you need to be able to provide him with the region and uh, here he comes mango two healing south so he might be playing position five in this one actually bottom lane cuckoo no armor no ring of protection but uh, doom got a buff in terms of armor before he had zero and then i believe he got three now he's sitting at the uh, four and you get one branch you have five literally unkillable I don't mind White Mon taking farm priority on this lion. I like. They might share. I think the Centaur will still need to get some kind of farm. Right. But right now, Zephyr is just playing this sacrificial position for. Like, I wonder if the game plan is for both of them to get Blink Daggers and just have that pressure that comes from Lion, obviously. The instant hacks with the Earth Spike, Blink Hoof Stomp, you know, just the control that they want, the initiation that they can use. And honestly, they could just um, wait for Zephyr to have six. He's got Stampede, and that could be his job for the early mid. But, I, I, you know, I don't entirely hate the idea. It's going to be a little bit tough to execute. You probably want a little bit more here on this Centaur. See how it ends up evolving as it goes on. Medusa 29 CS, Ursa 26, pretty even I would say. I don't see any stacks being made at the moment because they're fighting. Fighting, fighting all the time, yeah. 
Yeah, Hoofstomp comes out, and now they've got a plus one in White Mon. Mystic Snake for 23 and a little bit of trouble. The Earth Spike comes out, the Iron Shell burning him down. Jabs, he'll oh, get that kill on a Zephyr. Now looking over the Medusa, and well, White Mon will clean up one, and he'll get soul experience as well. As you know, on the bottom lane, leaves Cuckoo by himself. So you force a rotation, and that opens up potentially a kill on the bottom, which they get. Carl will need to be more active. He TP'd mid. This time, you know, he TP'd from pretty much your river rune to tier 1 tower. Not sure what that was about. And you don't have a TP, so you can't react. It, I think a lot of the players actually forget that uh, they don't have three charges anymore. And his career is also dead. I almost trust me. How do I get over there? Career dead and no TP. 2k lead already for Fnatic. This is a much better start from them. But it always, in the back of your mind, Medusa draft. You think about once he gets one or two items, if he doesn't get shut down properly, Medusa can just start to hone in and turn this game around, especially with the tankiness that's going to come from T1. Frontline here. Oh, they're invading stacks. There are a couple. No ancient stacks yet. DJ's cutting things out and they have an observer board, so they're kind of covered. They understand what Medusa wants to do. They have decent heroes to invade the stacks with. By decent, I mean one of the best ones. Tinselback uh, is their Iron Shell also very good against it. And they're making this position for Dragonite work. A couple of deaths on him. But Just still getting levels. Yeah. Using that dragon tail, running in, having that control, being tanky enough with the ion shell is more than more than enough, honestly. You don't feel too scared to just run in as you know you've got two levels in the dragon blood, you've got six extra armor with that extra regen. You can pretty much be in the base of team at all times. For sure. And you have Bristleback running in with Iron Shell, Surge on him, like that, that's gonna hurt. We'll see what they can do with this Medusa, not going entirely well. Dragon Tail, Elder Dragon form, you've already got level 6 available on this DK. Ports of T1, they don't have as much experience and... Well, it's one of those games where you need to adapt. Like, how fast can you adapt to what's happening? There are a couple of lane swaps, uh, heroes that uh, were not supposed to be played at those roles. Now you're playing against them. They're invading your jungle, playing it fast, putting a lot of pressure on the map. So, like, how do you adapt to it? See? I'm gonna go for Carl. Pops that ult, but that's not gonna do much. Carl kind of beats the enrage and Ursa couldn't catch up to him, had the help from the, the Dragonite, but it doesn't end up working out in their favor. And now the Doom is used onto the Darkseer, who will be slowed down. The chase is on with the Scourged Earth. Meanwhile, they lose White Mon, but Cuckoo gets a kill there and slows down this Darkseer, who's second on the net worth at the moment. Medusa's, despite the aggression in the lane, 100 gold away from top of the net worth. He, like 23 Savage, he always finds the farm on the map i think he's what his big strength is is just understanding when he needs to go away from the lane if the lane's not going correctly and just uh, maximizing the farm bristleback good done center is invis level five only oh that's a 10 minute solar on your position five wow. Each solar crests, we've seen that a lot on these enchantresses. They have a sentry down, but I don't believe they saw Zephyr. He's been just outside the range. I want to see Roshan from Fnatic in the next few minutes. There are a couple of wards around it. A couple, one, two, three, actually, around the Roche pit. But with Morbid Mask, with Solar Crest, they can do Roche. Let's see if they decide to go inside the pit right now. Yeah, he's, he's going in. So they'll bring the Enchantress over. I'm here to bring you the Solar Crest. Lower that armor, make this Roche easier. We'll see if they can get away with it. Jabs comes over and spots that Carl is rotated. They've got a lot of heroes to try and defend this. 
Bristol's just kind of in the face as well. So he'll back up, go after Carl. This is Nancy Goo, but they're good. Dragon Tail, Earth Spike, wall down. Carl in trouble. He'll probably die here. Throw jumps in. The big mistake to do a good amount of damage. They get the kind of jabs. So he uses the stampede to try and get on top of Moon and maybe even retreat from this fight already. A fall back towards 23. The Medusa that will try and save them or help them out at least is White Mon. Be able to throw a little bit of lockdown in just a second. Mystic Snake bouncing off two. Who has that purge? We've seen uh, in a series the other day what it can do against the Dark Shear. It's definitely one of the better ones. Like you can uh, use it to dispel Breathe Fire, dispel Solar Crest, dispel Goo, Overpower. There's so many things he can dispel, but can he dispel this? Next. Doom? Doom use Cuckoo on a Swimmer Pelt. He's gonna be able to get the doom out. They have the hook stop double oh, edge, no. but Cuckoo dies. Oh no, he didn't. Oh. He was playing it so greedy. Just gives him away XP, gives him away a bit of a gold. Meanwhile, while all that's happening, Fnatic takes the Roche. Definitely not needed. Like, I, they did not need to get that Infernal Blade. They did not need this. Even with the Infernal Blade, he was still fine. Could yeah. easily run away, besides the... You know, give away some free gold. <laughs> so Ursa, Guilty Blade, done. Like, Ursa is extremely farmed. It, it's not a full defusal. Maybe I'm lying. Don't trust me. Like, cost kicking in. Because he has nothing in the quick buy. That's why I was wondering. He is going the casual, casual two, two blades. blades. And uh, he's going to decide what he wants to do with it. Going, uh, the new item, Yasha Yasha. Howard being built for the Doom, Medusa. We're gonna finish off this SNY. Then going to the Ags. Pretty standard build from the Medusa overall. And they're only a 2k lead here from Fnatic. And like I said, they might need to put the, uh, pressure on. In Shut down the dude. I don't know if they're even doing it. Back in the misses. Gold saved up. Carl, he's going into the Crimson Guard. We've already spoken about Medusa. Crimson, great against Ursa. Definitely great against the illusions from Dark Sears Wall. But I want to see something scaling. I want to see this hero being able to scale because you have Doom as an off laner. Uh, not sure if this is position four or five Centaur at this point. And well, at least you have like the super late game during Medusa. We've seen matchups in other regions. Ursa does really well against Medusa, surprisingly well. But if you get that Scotty against Bristleback, against Ursa, Dragonite. It's gonna be pretty much the best item you can get. So, SNY done, going into Agadem's next, which is no surprise, pretty much a standard build. Uh, the problem right now is they're getting their towers pressured pretty heavily. They're going after the tier 2 bottom, though, over, over Carl. The damage on a Raven, not gonna be enough at the moment as he pops the Enrage. We'll go to the back lines, they've got the Hex on a jab, the Raven comes in, and look at the kill on a White Mon, they'll at least take one with the wall down. Move forward and maybe focusing this result a little mana. bit too much. Has three is already out of mana, and now we'll get it all back. They've got the Aegis out of the hands of Fnatic. They'll also take out DJ Zephyr, drop Stone Gaze. Oh, now be on cooldown, so can they still fight without it? It was over at Raven, the right click damage, and Raven gets the kill to Cuckoo. Carl still trying to man fight. Raven, they need one more hit. They got him. Carl gets the kill. It's Carl in 23 up against the three left of Fnatic. Moves to trying to front line, go after 23, but starts to turn his back. Timber chain across, Chakram right there, Whirling Death, Chun dies. They take of the Dark Seer, and it's a triple kill for Carl. Big, I would say almost the support fight. of 23. For D1, like Medusa sitting. They, they just took a fight near the tier 2 tower. You get extra region, you get extra armor from it, uh, Medusa. Like her stick is always gonna be full. In the fights, I was a bit worried. I clicked on her, 20 magic one charges, and now. Getting close. Like, I don't think you can end the game with this lineup uh, fast enough. And Medusa will just take them. I, I, I'm not sure if they have good ways of protecting her. Uh, they have a good front line. Finger. Uh, moon. In his mana drain, body box still draining away. White Mon <laughs> enjoying some mana and Carl enjoying a kill. 
got the wall down. Earth spike landing there's the infernal blade. Jabs is in trouble. He'll throw out stun, but I don't know if this keeps him alive. He's in the chakram and another right click from Cuckoo to get the kill there. And Fnatic, all of a sudden just giving away like six kills. Not sure what the plan there was. Like Medusa uses ulti, you need to go back. Also fighting near tier two tower. I don't think that was ever a good idea, but uh, you can correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, you're right. And now it just gets harder because 23 has that very balanced 35% plus on Mystic Snake mana gain. Yeah, nothing wrong here. Completely balanced. Uh, also, he decided to go for Evasion Talent against Ursa, which I really like. Even Ursa back heals some right clicks, but it's mostly about that Ursa. And now, only 1,500 gold away from Aghanim Scepter. And what we're seeing from a lot of these Fnatic fights is they're really close together. And Mystic Snake, that turns you to stone, that for a majority of that last fight, hit two heroes plus every time the Medusa threw out Mystic Snake, it's going to be problematic. Definitely. I'm a bit worried for the supports because both Centaur and Lion are not getting anything. They are just having Tranquil Boots. 1,400 gold in bank for both of them. Blink in the Dragon Tail. Good kill there for Raven. Now they'll try to take a tier two again. Success. Say that. Uh, one TP, is that enough to back them away? So have the TP from White Mana to the tier three, so he'll be there a little bit here. Just send him off. Just that one TP alone. <laughs> it's not just one TP Timber saw at the moment, considering how tanky he is. Kind of counts as two heroes. Crimson Guard done. Good done. Going for the plate mail next. I want to see Shivas. I I don't think Goo is Goo. A Lotus Orb is that great. It's a good item here, but I would love to see Shivas. Just for extra slow with the Medusa, reducing the healing from Bristleback, uh, Dragonite, the attack speed. If he can farm that in the next uh, five minutes, four or five minutes, that's gonna be a big upgrade for them. Medusa just needs 200 gold and they will gladly take a fight. Dragon form running out. White was thinking, do I get a Blink Dagger? Had 1500 gold saved up. Instead, he decides to get a four staff, which I would like a bit more. It's not so selfish. You have a good way of initiating. You can close the gap with the stampede. The fights are going to be chaotic with uh, these three beefy boys in front. Also, Heaven's Halberd done on Doom. Still keeping that purge creep. I think this is like one of the best, the best actually. Creep that you can get X comes out and got the wall down. That's right to 23. They'll also use that vacuum, but the stone gaze comes in the finger there to finish off deep. Jay. They look over at Moon, who will turn to stone. 23 now has this axe to work with. White Mon sitting in the right spot, trying to stay away from this team, but Jab's looking for him. That's a good job to get that kill. Takes away a lot of the control that T1 have in terms of the Earth Spike as well as the axe. But they will lose the DK, and, and that ends up feeling a little bit less beneficial. Yeah, you got the kill onto this lion. You give up your life for it. Your team doesn't do more with it. Ars is not gonna feel comfortable playing into this Mystic Snake. Into Timber saw front line and Heaven's Halberd. Like this is the item you get the miss chance, the disarm, huge vacuum, but no real follow-up. They don't have something that we didn't talk about. They don't have a combo with Dark Tear, which I'm uh, not a big fan of, I gotta say. You gotta have some vacuum into anything. This time around, they have vacuum into breathe fire, pretty much. That, that's all they got. Shock action, maybe. Doesn't sound good. And with that, also, you know, Axe was delivered during that fight. Going into Scotty, he's already got enough for the point booster. Things are really spiraling, where 23, he's not getting shut down anymore. The lane was difficult, but other than that, he's A-OK. -okay. He's got a TP available, could come top if T1 do, in fact, decide to fight. Wards, take it. And supports will have two items. White Mon needs 20 gold to finish off the four staff. Can easily push people out of trouble. And Centaur has a blank dagger to initiate with. 
surprised how fun. Compared to the supports of T1, the supports of Fnatic are up there. And that's really, I would say, what's keeping this game net worth wise. First fight comes in. Moon level 15 now hex. Nothing doing just yet. Do you really want to fight this? Will Viscous Nasal do on to Carl? I don't think Carl cares. At this point, you know, here. against the Bristleback, giving him more magic one charges at this point. And he's switching. Bite. I don't like Bite here. They don't have any magic damage whatsoever. Wow, that was another quick, like smart. Yeah. You got Moon focused, getting the attention focused on him, and while he does that, we'll take Rift. And that gives them the Shard on Ursa, the Aegis as well. Now, of course, he's got that Earthshock and Rage. Well played by Fnatic. I guess the question continues to be, is that enough? Wait, did Bristol but back? Oh, he didn't. Never mind. I'm, I'm, I'm half blind to this series. I thought he ate the cheese, but he just ate the mango that he had with shovel and sent it back. Right. So yeah, I would love to see Shiva's guard instead of this fight. Because they have no magical damage. Green fire is pretty much the the magical damage they get up. Plus, they're just hype it up, B Cop. And they're going to go after this. They were swinging lands on a two. They've got the finger on the ears. Somebody pops out and rage going after Cuckoo for a second. They use that stampede to try and disengage a little bit. They already got the kill out of the dark. So they look over at Moon, who's now pushing Cuckoo once again. Cuckoo chain from Carl as well as the Whirling Death. They've got themselves the Helvet Tower. And the Mystic think that's turning with the stone. First spike from the high ground of White Mon as he'll eat the cheese. Back to full health. Has that matter to work with. Now going after the Lion, who regrets his decision maybe to come down to the war ground. So he's getting chased by a Brit Stone gaze available. They want to continue to dive in deep. They'll Mana put the turn on the 23 who will finally get that stone gaze off. Her spike on a moon. They get the turn of DJ. Call doing what he can and Raven walks into this timber. Mystic Snake out again. He has the enraged thanks to the earth shot, but he lose that first slice and he may be enraged in seconds. Second. He's got enraged, but it's going to be off cooldown in time. Earth shock again at 4.5 seconds, so it's up in the second. Mystic Snake hits on a moon as well. Jabs that'll turn them broke to the stone. Look at the kill of the Dragon Knight. Nice oh, force that, right but we'll get it. Where's the Arteezy spray? They still get moon, so I mean, you focus your attention on a white mine, you lose your life. That doesn't seem exactly worth They bought back on Cuckoo, but at this point, uh, Doom is not really caring too much, too much about it. Uh, most importantly, they want a team fight. Uh, Focusing dark, dark here before he could get the wall off is a pretty big thing. They even have a good ways of dealing with the illusions. Medusa split shots. Uh, with the snake, uh, Lion can easily kill them off with Hex. And Mana Dragon, I don't think you want to use Hex on the illusion straight away, but maybe if the fight prolongs. Centaur also going into four staff, which I really like. The, just the kiting potential is going to be great. So Bristle going into the Axe. He's got the shard. Hairball available. Free shard from Roshan going into Axe. AoE. That's that's the combo, B Cup. Vacuum into D. Vacuum into Vagu. Hairball. Vagu. It's good. That sounds like a Harry Potter spell. Like, Vagu. And then you just turn to. All right, you know what? I, I no, I'm listening. I'm, I'm listening. I also need to rewatch the Harry Potter movies. I rewatched the Lord of the Rings and Harry Potter every single year. Didn't do it last year, but uh, we'll definitely do it this one. Yeah. For me, Harry Potter, it's all about that Christmas spirit. I don't know why. Uh, I start in December, get hyped up for Christmas. Yeah, I watched all the Harry Potters this Christmas. But uh. You know, that, that sentence didn't start with, you know it would be cool. Okay. <laughs> I'll have one of those a little bit later. You need to give me one, you know what's not cool? <laughs> a vagoom. <laughs> That's not cool. <laughs> so he's got to try and get to this axe. It's going to be a little bit tough. Mystic Snake. All right. Well, try to t take my outpost now. Do you like that 23 has gone? Oh, he was. He bought the casual tails, yeah. which I really like. So the value that you get from it, 15% evasion talent, the missed chance against Earth is going to be great because every single time he hits you, he burns mana, he gets another stack. So a lot of value from the missed chance in this one. 
Stepping away with Zephyr over to his side, has the Scotty finished off, so things get much more difficult for Fnatic again. Going Basher on Raven. KB for Jabs, who's got the blink already. Enchantress has the pipe. Pretty farmed Enchantress. Compared to the supports of T1. Big, big difference. Dragonite going into BKB. So you're gonna have kind of a position three from your position four. Both teams pretty conservative for the moment farming. I say conservative farming from mining, messing with them, or at least trying to. These guys are out look pretty sore. Those Fiscus Nails and Goose stacks are starting to stack up on your moon. You don't want to throw them over and then just, you know, spit in your own face. I would still love to see he was guarding this timber. Maybe Doom will get one. No, he's getting a BKB. See if they get one later down the line. Awakening Charm for Moon. That. Lowering the cooldown on Hairball, on all of his other abilities. Like, because you have so many new abilities added once you get the shard once you get the eggs why are we not seeing keeper of the light just reducing the cooldown on those abilities as well hex coming through onto moon not taking anything else on the side of fanatic this time so it's not much of a decoy they've got the doom they'll use the stampede there's the finger but an early the finger blade. still gonna get the damage that's what matters it was to his back as well like a good little kill there, slowing down the axe. 2,000 gold away from Moon, who's just trying to be a nuisance, which he's succeeding in. But now, do you fight without him? I don't they can. Medu like, once Medusa gets Butterfly plus one damage item, I don't know how you kill her. She's gonna be able to shred through Enchantress. Like, Enchantress brings a lot of damage in the team fights and a lot of utility with the Pike, uh, with the Solar Crest heal. So she wants to be able to get in and out of the fights. If you can take her out first, that'd be great. If you can take out the Darkseer, also gonna be good. From Blink Dagger, Greaves, Hood. He's definitely not feeling as farmed as I thought he would be, but a lot of the farm is being the personal. This time around, a different farm. build on Darkseer, no Aghanim Scepter. Yeah, do you agree with no Axe? If you're fighting all the time, I like this uh, mech. Maybe a mech uh, Axe is a better choice, and like you scaled so well with Axe, like, you get to that level 20. Eggs, iron shell, multiple iron shells in a team fight. Carl has very limited mana in this fight. Yeah, now the wall is down onto two of them. Moon coming in over again. Reeves get popped. They'll go after his timber. Not a lot of mana to work with. The same piece comes out. They get the kill on a jab. They'll go over at this Ursa turning to the stone moon and raven. They need to be careful. You don't want to become statues in this fight. Now back in the not They need to be a little bit more cautious about the Mystic Snakes coming out. Might look good in a museum after you take too many of those mystic snakes and well this could become a problem for fanatic they've already lost the dk and they just don't do the damage to really force back t1 finally t1 d wards the high ground vault i'm just liking darkseer more and more the more i see what he brings to the team fights especially with the wall you can't pass uh, the slow is 70 percent level three so now it's 60 since it's level two Medusa getting closer to that butterfly. Actually, it's gonna have it right now. Courier just bought it. That'll come over. Gotta hope it doesn't get killed flying over. Yeah, you, you, you just had to say it, didn't you? You just gotta, you know. You know what would not be cool? <laughs> <laughs> Losing your courier. Uh, and now your butterfly for. Three while. minutes. Yeah. Let's see the Roche respawn. 39 seconds. It's a big damage item. Like, it, it, it can make the difference right now. 23 Savage holding Titan Sliver for, for a bit of a more status resistance. Has Paladin Sword in case he needs to heal. Already talked about it during the game one. 
is probably the best player and at least the player that uses most of the neutral items always keeps multiple and now moon's courier goes down that's revenge moon got 23's courier and then well zephyr gets moon one loses a butterfly the other one loses an axe Jabs, Medusa being untouched. They just cannot take out 23, even with this wall. It is a very big struggle for Fnatic, and into Roche they go. You know what I would love to see in this game? A lion hitting level 20 with Medusa on the team, and just mana draining restored allies. Just pump that mana into Medusa. Like, eventually, this could be the big thing. Because right now he has only four stacks, so that would be 80 damage, which is literally nothing. Storing that mana. Ma, can we get IO? We have IO at home. Yeah, we have Fountain at home. It's, uh, it's called Lion level 20. Yeah. And then you get a shard, your magic immune while you're draining. Yeah. So, X. Now let's see who decides to pick that one up. I think Doom gets it because of the break mechanic. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Does <laughs> get that axe. It's going solar crest. Minusar. Break on the Infernal Blade. He's happy with that. See if he gets a shard eventually. Three nearby. This bump as they pass each other. Raven going into the MKB, trying to counter that butterfly that is uh, still on a dead courier. With two four staffs, they can kite. They have this Crimson Guard. Not too much value at this point, but uh, Ursa needs an MKB. He needs to be ready for Medusa's butterfly. Just appears through that evasion. Medusa holding a cheese, holding a magic wand. Full butterfly down on the courier, just three spawn. It has to respawn 15 seconds. There's smoke. Moon. But over, blink into the hoof stomp. They've got the zoom on the bristle. Moon, he's dead. He caught him. They've taken out the moon. Yeah. He caught a couple of tips mid air while being fingered. What happened? No buyback on him. He bought. I believe that's a full axe, and uh, his courier is also dead. dead. Unfortunately, I mean, the good thing is when your courier is dead, that you're also dead. You're kind of synchronizing with the item timings. Yeah, it's an odd way to synchronize, but one that I guess works out. Oh, we see it. Fireball. A fireball. That X plus two red mana coming down on the fireball. We'll see if the fireball feels effective enough. Raven. He's on to Carl, thinking about moving in. This tier three in trouble. Mystic Snake comes out onto Raven, and it's only for a split second because he's got that Earthshock game from the Enrage for a second and a half. Fireball down again and 23. Whether or not he's going to get attacked, because Raven keeps fainting in and out. Get this kill onto the Enchantress, but a good vacuum wall. Cover doesn't set up enough. They've already got the disarm onto the Ursa. Ursa will be back up in five seconds. He'll have that axe to play with. Fireball down again. They look over at Carl. They're starting to output a decent amount of damage. And Raven, he's popped that in green. So Ursa going in, but they've got the hex. Now Medusa's full HP, full mana. Here comes man the Mystic Snake. Oh, good. The moon is the axe enough. The goo is spreading like wildfire, but it's not enough to keep Moon alive. It's not enough. Damage to deter T1, and they will kill off this bristle down for 74 seconds after just respawning. And they're going for tier 4 towers. Medusa on level 25, split shot uses modifiers. So, Scotty, like, what what can you do about it? They do not have enough damage. Ursa will need to risk it, go in, no buyback on them. If they take out Ursa, this game just ends. The game might end even before taking out Ursa anyway. He's got to risk it for a chocolate biscuit instead. Well, he gets stunned. Hoop Stomper, Spike, they'll get the kill. No buyback available on Raven. And following that, they'll call the GG. T1 with the 2-0 over Fnatic. And it's, again, another simply executed game here for T1. Let Medusa farm and win here. Profit.
pretty much, but they know how to play with Medusa. They were buying time. Timbersaw was very active. 